friends, Amanda here, and I wanted to take a minute to show you just how we make the kale chips. So I'm in the kitchen getting ready, so I will show you what's going on and tell you how it happens. So enjoy. We start by making all of our sauce in small batches by hand. So we put in whole cashews, water, whole green onions, spices, and all that good things like fresh lemon juice, nutritional yeast, and blend that up. So I have already done that, so I'm gonna show you the next step. And that's where the sauce is measured out, put into tubs, the kale is clean and put into bowls, and massaged and put into the dryer. So let's see what that looks like. So here we are in the Slow Foods Kitchen kitchen. We've done about half of the prep work already, so I'm gonna take you through what happens when the kale is made. So the kale was cleaned already, so that means it was triple washed removed from the stems, and then we are left with just the leaves, no stems. The stems dry hard and just aren't very enjoyable. And then the sauce is blended up. So this is a big batch of sauce. And from there, we measure this out into the amount that we need. So these tubs here are ready to go with the sauce. So now that the sauce is ready, the kale is ready, we are going to come over here. So here we have our measured sauce and kale. So this is our fresh green organic kale, which is so beautiful. And then here we have our trays. And so these trays will be lined with paper. The top one is not lined. So you'll see we have paper lined and ready to go. We try to be as sustainable as possible. So this paper was used to make kale chips and we just took out a batch and put in a batch. So this paper will be used twice. And then here, so our kale chips will get this sauce poured on top of it. The sauce will be massaged in and laid on the trays. And then after that, it will go into our harvest saver. So we'll have 14 trays of kale chips dried in two days. So we'll have about 15 ish cases of kale chips ready to go. So here we have our kale. It's all been mixed up and massaged. And then we have spread the kale out onto this tray. And now the trays will go in the dryer and then we'll have delicious fresh kale chips. So our next step is to fill the machine up, turn it on, and that's it, and then we will have kale chips. Thanks for watching, and I will touch base soon with the final product.